So, as you can see on the title, ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon is how to create a school logo gamit lang po ang PowerPoint presentation. The reason why I chose this topic today is because marami akong nakikita mga school logo from different schools na ginagamit pa rin nila yung generic logo. And I think it's very important na ang bawat school ay, sorry sa lang ako, and, and I think it's very important na ang bawat school ay meron po silang identity. At ang isa sa mga identity natin ay ang sarili nating logo. That's why it's very important na dapat unique siya. Dapat it represents kung ano yung school natin. It represents our mission and vision at the same time yung mga philosoph um, philosophies behind dun sa paniniwala ng school na kinabibilangan natin. So right now po, um, I will show you on how you can create your logo just using PowerPoint presentation. It's gonna be easy. It doesn't require you to use Photoshop. Hindi ka rin kailangang mag, um, gumamit ng other software apart from the PowerPoint. Um, the good news is, I will be providing you template na gagamitin nyo na kaagad. Wherein, may mga ready-made template na ako na ginawa. But the thing is, you can just change the logo o kaya naman yung color. Which I'm gonna show you how you can do that. I think I have let me show you. I have seven logos here. Eight logo, um, logo na pwede nating, pwede nyo nalang palitan. You can change the background, you can change the color, and then you can just um, type in another name of the school. And also, pwede nyo nalang pong palitan yung mga logo and icons na meron tayo dito. So, let's, let's begin now. So, right now, we have here a blank presentation. What we're gonna do first is we insert shapes. Of course, our what we're gonna use today is the circle shape lang. So ang gagawin lang po natin is mag um, mag insert ng shape sa ating presentation and then ang sukat po ng pinakamalaking nating circle is make it 16 centimeter. Okay. Ito po yung sukat na sa tingin ko will gonna work for a school logo. And then what you're gonna do next is to change the outline and make it around 6 points. But do not change the color yet. Okay? Do not change the color yet. We just want to set it up first. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna insert um, another shape. So I'm just gonna copy this one. And then I'm just gonna paste it here. And then the, the size of this is around 13 centimeter. 12 centimeter, should I say. So, magiging 12 centimeter yung ano niya, shape. So, right now, um, snap lang natin siya sa gitna and there you go, we have the base ng ating logo na ginagawa. Now, what you're gonna do next is the mo um, it's the modification. Like, for example, you want to change the color of your logo. But in conceptualizing your logo, guys, it's very important na unahin mo yung background. Ano ba yung gusto mo maging background ng logo? So for this, um, I'm gonna change the background of my logo. Kasi yun yung magiging springboard mo in designing the entirety of your logo kapag meron ka ng idea in mind. So my idea right now is to use this background. Um, I got this picture sa Microsoft then. Ayan. So ayan. So this is my um, this is my background. So dito magi start yung idea ng aking logo. Ngayon, what I'm gonna do with the shape outline is pukunin ko lang yung dropper and then I'm gonna choose color from here. So, ang napili kong color is this one. Okay, so since hindi ako masyadong satisfied dun sa nakita kong color, so I'm gonna change it to this one. So, that's gonna be the background of my first circle. And then I'm gonna choose the second circle and I will do the same background. And then ngayon, pipili naman ako ngayon ng fill ng aking second um, circle dito sa ating picture. So, eyedropper lang ang ginagawa ko. So, I'm gonna choose this one. Okay? So, magiging ganito yung itsura ng aking logo as of the moment. So, ganyan yung magiging gusto kong view niya. Pero, pero kayo guys, you can change it. This is just an example. So what I'm gonna do next, since meron na akong base, what I will do is I will insert a text box. And then isulat nyo lang yung pangalan ng school nyo. Like, Tarihi Elementary School. Ayan. And then, what I will do here is ipo-format ko lang siya from my preference. 
Ayan. And then, hindi ko na masyadong papalitan ko na lang yung ano, yung font ko ng ad lib. Ayan siya. And then, the color, I think, I like it in black. So, I'm fine with that. And then, what I'm gonna do next, I will add text effects, transform, and I will pick this one. And then, what I will do is, I will set it to 13 centimeters. Okay? And then, I will have this one. So, meron na akong ganyan. But, I want to extend this text up to here. Okay, that's also possible. And then, extend pa natin siya ng content. And since yan lang naman yung nagamit kong text, what I, um, what you can do kapag nasagad na siya is to um, add, ano, mag-add lang tayo ng size ng font like gawin ko siyang 49. Or 50. We'll see. Okay. So, I think I'm satisfied with this one. And then, ayusin ko lang siya ng konti if I feel na kailangan ko siyang i-move. Ayan. So, I think that's perfect for me. What I will do next is I will add some elements in my logo. So, I will just insert shape and then I'm thinking of adding a star. Ayan siya. And then, what I will do is I will just fill this in in white and then no outline ang gagawin ko. Then ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa baba. Ayan siya. Ayan, ilalagay lang natin siya dyan. Parang ender lang siya nung name. And then, that's it. So see? Meron na akong basis ng aking logo. What I will do next is I'm gonna copy this text right here. And then, I'm gonna change the text effect into this one. Okay? And then, I will change this into my into into our school address, which is Tarlac City. Now, I will place it right here. So, kung mapapansin nyo, guys, masyado siyang malaki. So, I will just change my font here. Ayan, I think I'm good with that. And then, what I will do is, um, hindi kasi pumapantay yung pagka-circle niya. So, ang gagawin ko lang is, I will stretch this into 14 cm. Ayan. So, if you will um, move it around right here. Ayan. And I think that's a perfect fit. So, ganyan na magiging itsura niya, guys, once na naayos niya na. Now, what we're gonna do next is to add element in the, um, at the center. Now, you have different options here. You can you can use entirely the icons in the PowerPoint. Let's say you will add here icons. Marami po tayo dito ng icons which you can also tawag dito. Pwede mo silang i-format the way you want to use them. Like for example, I'm going to use something like wreath. So tingnan natin kung meron Ayun, so meron silang wreath. So maglalagay lang ako ng wreath design. Ayun siya. But guys, you can use whatever design you want. This is just my own preference. So, animbawa, ayon yung gamitin yung mga icons. That's fine. Um, you have different options. And I'm gonna show you also mamaya kung paano naman mag-import ng other images dyan. So, yan. And then, I will add another one which is torch naman yung ilalagay natin dito. Because that's common for logos ng mga school. Meron silang mga torch na ginagamit. So, I'm just gonna get one. And I love this one. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. Ayan. And then, you can change the color of this graphics. Like, if you want to change the, their field, um, if you want to fill them a different color, that's also possible. And if you want to make them green. But, I want something that is fitting dun sa ating ginagawa logo. So, I want it pink. Ayan, medyo shala yung logo natin mga mare. Ayan, pink yung ginamit ko. So, this is just an example guys from the icons. Yung una kong pinakita sa inyo. But right now, I'm gonna show you how you can import images here. So, ako nag-download lang ako ng images from Google. But they are for um, um, but they are creative commons. Ibig sabihin I can use them again. So, magaano ako ng picture from this device. And these are the examples that I found. So, I'm just gonna show you 
like this one, the torch I found, and then the bird, and then meron din ako dito ng leaf na nakit na, na nakuha. So I'm just gonna insert this one. Ayan. So these are the things na gusto kong ilagay sa aking PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna set them aside here. And then ang gagawin ko is each element I add ko lang sila. So mas masadong malaki siya. So I'm gonna Um, set this sa gitna. Okay, so right now, nakikita nyo na yung itsura niya. And then, instead of using torch, you can also use birds. Okay, meron ako dito bird siya. Ayan. So, this is another set of logo. Ito, na-download ko lang po siya sa, sa Google. Ayan. And then, there you have it, guys. And then, guys, another tip is Pag kasi gumagawa ka ng layering sa PowerPoint, minsan, hindi mo makikita lahat ka agad-agad. So, ayan yung circle nasa likod siya. So, maraming nakaharang sa kanya. So, ang pwede mo gawin is move it around. Ganyan, para ma-edit mo pa rin sila. So, ito po yung ating selection box. Makikita yan sa arrange um, panel and then selection pane. Ayan, makikita siya dyan. And then, if you want to remove this, pwede mong ilagay yan. Okay, now, paano siya magiging logo, guys? Very simple. Um, huwag kang maglalagay ng ano-ano except yung mga layers mo sa logo. Just control all and then um, save as picture and then go to your desktop and then just name it my first logo and then click save ayun siya. So let's say meron akong word ano dito. Meron akong word file na lalagyan ko ng logo. So we will now insert our logo here. So insert picture and then, this device, makikita na natin yung logo, guys. Ito siya. Ayan. So, we can now insert our logo na kagagawa lang. Ayan ang ating logo. So, pwede na po natin siyang gamitin sa ating mga documents. So, ayan, guys. You can now use this logo. Okay? So, these are the templates na I already made them. I will put the link on the description box. And then, you can download them. And you can use this as, ano, um, as a springboard. Kung paano gumawa ng logo, you just can change the outline, you can change the text and everything. So you have eight, um, eight design options right here na pwede nyo pong i-download. So ganun na po kadaling gumawa ng logo using PowerPoint. And I hope all of you um, with the brand new school year na meron tayo ay makagawa po kayo ng logo nyo for your schools. So thank you very much guys. And once again, do not forget to like Hit the notification bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos po. And also, pwede rin po kayong mag-join dun sa group ko, Free eBooks by Sir Manny. Nagbibigay po ako dun ng mga free educational resources na pwede nyong i-download sa classroom. Thank you very much po.